Sometimes accomplishing what you really want requires stepping up and doing things that are uncomfortable. I talk all the time about being in alignment. It's right for you. Sometimes this does require getting a little bit uncomfortable. If something feels like, like uh-uh, I'm not sure, it might feel like it's alignment. And maybe it's just something I need to get through the discomfort and do it anyway is in alignment. So how can you tell? Because if I just go based on how I feel in the moment, sometimes that might have me step and not do something that ultimately would be right for me. I've been a training for three days this week and looking at where have I been in action in being out there as a speaker and where have I been holding where have I felt doubt, concern, fear, being good enough? Am I going to be rejected? All of these things that get in my way when it comes to doing something that ultimately I do really want to do. Are there places like that where you are not moving forward with something that would probably be good for you to do? But because it's company, how are these things that stop? Totally understand. So, there are ways getting training, getting coaching, getting system, working with someone else, working with the things, the things that get in the way, the fears, the concerns. If I'm trying to do it all alone, it feels uncomfortable and just stop. It's going to keep me from making the progress. The things that I am wanting to do might be not in alignment for me and not. And that's what I've talked about a lot. When I feel like I'm blocked, I'm getting stuck. And some of those things might not be right. For example, last year or whenever, I took a class in Facebook marketing using a business page. That wound up not being right for me at all, and I just dropped it. I don't try to do that anymore, not the business page. But when it comes to this speaking thing, there have been aspects of it that are really uncomfortable for me. I don't know. But I also know I really do want to do this. So it's worthwhile. Being in this program, sometimes it's in my face, but getting myself to actually move forward and take the actions. One at a time, sometimes. Do something and then it gets easier. Do it again and it gets easier still. Try a different thing so that I'm doing these things that have been in my way moving forward. And having training, having coaching has been so but getting me to move forward in those areas I have been. If you are in a place like that yourself, totally understand. And I'm in this program where I have been comparing myself to people. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm... Last week, I talked about embarrassment. This is one of those areas where no longer comparing myself and letting that stop me and recognizing I can't expect myself to follow along in the same way that I might need more I need more healing. I just might need more practice or there's more steps or whatever it is that's required for me to be able to do and not expecting myself to be able to do it as easily or as quickly as other people do. This is part of why I developed the Expand and Elevate Your Business group program to support people like myself in taking action, planning and taking action, and then providing healing for the stuff that gets finding understanding and perspective. 
support for people who are not just like some of the people I know, they just they just do these things. I am more step by step. I understand you, you and other people also need more extras. So have this expand and elevate group session program that's available for you if you want to grow your business and you might be stuck like I tend to be and then make progress to support you in making more yes. giving space for emotional nature the places where you I and others get to provide support for each other in this program in the couple of weeks that we've done it to, so far some of the people in my group have been making progress being in action doing things where they had been not in action before so if you would benefit, appreciate this part then let me know and we can talk get you into this group program group environment is so supportive we like being there for each other, supporting each other, and coming up with actions, and then moving forward, healing. All right, healers and coaches start making real money. When you start marketing from strategy and start purpose, doing what feels good for you. Thank you. Have a stay. And again, contact me if you're interested.